Hey, what is up guys? My name is Calum and I'm a fourth year biochemistry student and this is Planted Tank Science where I basically combine my love for planted tanks and my love for science to hopefully teach you guys something new. Today is a little bit different and we're going to be talking about a fish food. This is what I feel is the best fish food on the market for a multitude of reasons. I've been doing a lot of research into all the different ingredients and I'm super excited to be talking to you guys about it today. So let's get started. The food we're going to be talking about today is color enhancing fluval bug bites. Uh, most people have heard about bug bites and know they use black soldier fly larvae but don't really know what black soldier fly larvae do but these are super interesting so we're gonna get into a little bit about those as well as the color enhancing part you know does it actually have any effect on fish how does it work is it a myth um, or is it just some marketing thing but I learned a little bit about the color enhancing so I'm gonna be talking about that as well first up let's talk about these black soldier flies because I find them super interesting they're basically little tiny flies that give birth to about 500 eggs that would then be turned into larvae. These larvae contain a ton of proteins, lipids, calcium, and other minerals that make them a great food for our fish. The whole farming process for these black soldier fly larvae is super sustainable and doesn't use a lot of resources either. Basically what they do with these is they are amazing decomposters. They take agricultural waste, things like rotten fruits and vegetables, and then add the larvae to break this down. The byproduct of this can then be used as an organic fertilizer, which is super useful useful as well. Because of all this, so many aquaculture companies, places that farm fish, are using black soldier fly larvae as the only food for their fish, and that's why it's great to see it for our fish tanks as well. If you compare the black soldier fly larvae to what most fish food companies use, which is fish meal, it sounds a lot healthier. What fish meal is, is basically a bunch of small fish, like sardines and anchovies, caught from the wild, ground up, and mixed with filler proteins, and different fats and lipids to make it form a pellet, which is pretty nasty, um, and it's not really as sustainable as something like the fluval bug bites are. At this point, I probably should mention this video is not sponsored or endorsed by Fluval at all. I just really like their product and think it's great to see in the hobby. So now let's talk a little bit about the color enhancing part and if that actually does anything for your fish. This part of the video took a lot more research and I found a couple of things that are pretty interesting. On the label, it states that this algae called Haematococcus, uh, I'll put it up there, it's pretty, pretty difficult to pronounce, uh, is responsible for the coloring that this fish food provides. I did a bit of research on this stuff and basically what happens is when this algae is induced by any kind of stress like high salinity, it will start to produce a lot of this carotenoid. If you've heard or seen my red plants video, you would know a little bit about carotenoids. Basically carotenoids are pigment molecules used by plants and algae that lead to a red or yellow or orange color in your plants. This algae when induced with the environmental stress will produce the carotenoid astaxanthin. Uh, it's pretty hard to pronounce another one, but I'll put the name of that up there. And this basically leads to red color being produced. What they found is this is actually a big part of the diets of flamingos, red trout, and red salmon, or not red salmon, just salmon in gem general. And this is where they think they get their color from. This is that active ingredient in that food that is expected to give our fish more color. Whether this works or not in our fish, we haven't really tested, but they've tested with salmon and red trout and found when they fed them diets with more of this in aquaculture they have developed a lot more coloration in their uh, flesh. So in doing my research I found there was a couple other uh, molecules that helped with coloration those being marigold extract and spirulina. What I found was marigold extract would help with the yellow coloration of our fish and spirulina with the blue and green coloration. The color enhancing bug bites actually do uh, also have uh, marigold extract but there is no spirulina so this stuff should help with red orange and yellow coloration in fish but not necessarily blue and green whether it will help or not it all depends on the fish uh, who knows you know I'd recommend going out and testing it I've found it works great for my ember tetras and I've only really tested it on that tank so far but I don't know how it would affect other fish who knows if it would have any effect at all if you guys do test this stuff out on your fish let me know how it goes I'd like to see if it works with other species as well uh, but yeah I'd recommend you go test this stuff out I think it's a great cause and helps with a lot of uh, sustainability in our hobby and it's always great to see that 
But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. This was uh, Kalem's Fish Tanks. Peace.